Johnny Blair on the air here. TikTok loyal. I'm on TikTok now. As Ulsterchik, they haven't kicked me off yet. Now, um, a little bit of reflection sort of on here now. It's getting to that point where um, it's good to look back on the travels. Um, and some people ask me, do I collect things? In other words, physical things from my travels. Of course, the answer is yes. And actually, I collect loads of things, like absolutely loads. So here are just some of them. I collect football programs, football match tickets. I collect coins. I collect banknotes. I collect stamps. Uh, I collect beer bottle tops. I collect beer labels. I collect entry tickets to museums, other sports events. Uh, I collect programs, I collect books, I collect little knickknacks. I've got two shoe boxes that are just filled with little trinkets and, and knickknacks, just odds and ends, bits and bobs that I've picked up in various countries. So what we'll do is I'll do a video for each sort of different thing that I collect. Um, the first one, the video I'm going to do is an obvious one, is I collect patches of flags of countries. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, this is this is my fleece. Now the story, uh, I'll just tell the story of this. I'm not wearing it. I can wear it though. Um, this fleece says on it, Northern Ireland. It is, it is with the IFA official logo. It's a Northern Ireland fleece. I received this in either 2007 or 2008. Can't remember which one. One of those two years I received this. And what I did when I moved to Australia is I put on there a few, I think I put, I seem to remember the first um, badges that went on it, the Tasmania one, the Northern Ireland flag one, and the second Tasmania one. And, and then as you can see, this is sort of where it began here. Um, so the Northern Ireland one, then I ended up in... Um, Tasmania uh, and the one above that you can see is the big banana in Australia so I was living in Australia at the time and then I added in you know Dunedin New Zealand so I went from Australia to New Zealand then I ended up in Antarctica which was actually when I put that badge on there that's when I realized I could actually make this into something a bit bigger um, and then I just started collecting them um, as you can see, there is Scotland and Poland. There's no real order to these other than the fact that I started with the Northern Ireland one and the Tasmania one. And then I kind of did put ones that are slightly more important um, on the front for some reason. I started doing that. So I had Poland there. Um, I put the cherries, Bournemouth ones. So I, I, I started doing the arm as a sort of um, football one, right? Um, so these, this is the, is that the right arm? Yeah, that's the right arm. The right arm is supposed to be football. Obviously, I have loads of space to put more on there. I haven't managed to get a Glen Torren or a Northern Ireland or a Legia Warsaw or a Starogard football badge yet as an iron-on because those are the other teams that I actually support. So instead of that, I put the Cherries and a Bournemouth um, badge. I put Peñarol, which is my Uruguayan team when I lived in Montevideo. I used to go and watch them. I've got a football, which is to tell you that the arm is football. And then you've got a shamrock, because I haven't been able to find the IFA Northern Ireland one yet. So that arm is going to be for football and other things. Um, this, uh, the ice cream is for my job. So some of the jobs that I had, I've put um, on there. So ice cream, I've worked in ice cream. And then as you can see, there are, yeah, there are other jobs. I've started putting them on the back of the arm. So there we've got beer, beer, farming, cocktail, and then traveling. Now, this arm then, I started to, it started to be my Australia one. As you can see, I've got, I only went to five out of the eight Australian provinces, and those are the five I went to in Australia. Um, and then other places of interest that I've been to are stuck on here. So I put that on for Chernobyl. Um, because I've been to the um, nuclear reactor number four, so that's like radioactive. Um, Nepal, I've been to the Buddha Eyes um, most recently, actually. The Space Center, I've been to two of those. 
uh, three of those have included Copernicus and Torin, but the main one was the uh, the French uh, Guyana one in Kuru. Um, and then New Zealand, obviously I've been there uh, a couple of times. I've been to North Island and South Island, had a work in holiday visa as well. New Zealand, so New Zealand and Australia are there. What else is on the front? Right, let's look at more of the front. So that's the whole front. I have to stand up to do this actually. Um, the rest of it on the front below that is basically just flags of countries. Now the rule is I have to have been to the country to stick it on there. So the the only countries on there are ones I've been. Now the word country is debated by people, we know that. Um, I've stuck on Azores, which is independent from Portugal. It's autonomous, so I've stuck it on there. It's off the coast of Africa. I've stuck Jersey on there as well, which I recognise as separate. Bali, I don't quite recognise as separate, but I've stuck it on there because it's quite a good badge, a good flag to have. And then other places that are definitely not countries, but I've stuck them on there because like, they were pretty pretty cool places to go, like Dead Sea Israel, nice one. Took, took a stuck on there because I was in Thailand and Bangladesh, um, you know, backpacking on Tuk Tuk's. I've put an Irish, I've put two Irish ones. So there's the four um, provinces of Ireland, Ulster, Leonard, Connacht, Munster. Uh, there is um, a leprechaun, I think it is, or just some random guy from Ireland, yeah. Uh, I've got Port Lockroy in Antarctica. Um, I've stuck a monkey on there. I think I did that when I was like backpacking in Asia. I thought there's loads of monkeys about. So there's also a Thailand map one there as well as the flag. So that's the whole front. Now the back is where uh, it gets interesting. So the, there's the back, it's huge. The back of this is bigger than my back, as you can tell, right? That's like twice the size of my back. But when you put it on, it's sort of all together. Now, the back is full. I have to admit, there's no more space there because this wee space and this wee space, there's not really enough for another flag in there. Probably should have ironed Spain on a bit closer to Taiwan. But at the time, I didn't know I was going to backpack 200 countries, did I? So Spain should move a wee bit over. Uh, maybe one day I'll move that so I can squeeze another one in there. So that's the back. As you can see, the back leads into that side. So those are all those are all flags of places I've been. Um, mostly they're countries. And um, there's a few unrecognized spots in there, which I think are cool. Like uh, Christiana is in there, um, Guernsey. United Nations, which I don't recognize, but it's still, I've been to their headquarters and I've been to a few UN places. Tierra del Fuego, also not a country, but a nice flag to have on Antarctic cruise. That's the other side of the back. Um, there. Now this arm here, so I'm moving on to this arm. This arm started to, it started off being random flags that don't represent a country. So as you can see, if I've been to a place that I've kind of seen some of it, but it's not a country like Olympics, been to loads of Olympic stadiums, Maori and um, Aboriginal culture, I've seen that. Uh, but then I realized that I'm running out of space for the flags of countries, so I'll just stick the countries on there. So the rest of that arm, that side is countries. Still got room for two or three more on there. That's Finland is the last one on there. And on the other side of that, some more countries along the bottom. But this was this is supposed to be every place I've lived in. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find iron on patches for them all yet. So I've only got Sydney, Hong Kong, London and Belfast on there. I haven't even got my home city. So I need to get one for Bangor. I need Bournemouth, Poole, Dartford, uh, Gdansk, Warsaw, Devonport, Montevideo, Bishkek. So all those places that I spent more than uh, a month in, probably they, they deserve to have their badge on there. Um, uh, what else? Uh, just the hood down left, isn't it really? Yeah, I think it's just the hood. So the hood as well is just countries. Um, and some of the more recent ones actually because I just started doing that you can see I've been there in Mozambique, Mauritius, Malawi, um, uh, Mozambique, um, Madagascar, the four M's, Haiti, Dominican Republic which is before that so that's it, it is my countries of the world fleece it's not finished yet but hopefully it soon will be so do I collect things from my travels? Yep, I collect iron-on badges of the world and I'll do some more of these videos check it out on the website don't stop living dot net.